Hey guys, how are you? Happy, well, it's Monday today. Happy Monday. Probably not going to be Monday though when you watch this, although it might be next Monday. You never know. Um, I don't even know. What week is it? Like the third or fourth week that we've been quarantined? Maybe the sixth week. I'm not even sure anymore. Um, but um, I, anyway, I miss you guys, as always. I can't wait to see you again, um, which is going to be in like two hours because I'm getting on that Zoom call so I can say hi. So this week, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, we're going to do a project three different ways, I guess, depending on what you have at your house. So um, most people do have at their house toilet paper rolls or... Um, paper towel rolls, these guys here. So I think that's kind of a given that everybody has those. Depending on what else you have for supplies, we can use these guys to make some different things. So I'm gonna go through um, three different options depending on, on what you got. Okay. Can I see? I, oh, I, oh, yep, yeah, there it is. I can see you. Um, so we're going to start with this one. This is like so basic. All you need is a paper towel tube, a pair of scissors, and a marker. That's it. That's all you need. Um, really, if you didn't have a marker, you could use a pen. I mean, we're getting as basic as basic gets right now. So um, we're actually going to turn this paper towel tube into an owl. Can you even believe that? Okay, first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna get your paper towel tube. And we're gonna cut down, if I thought this was halfway, I'm probably gonna go another half in between. We can always trim it at the end, but we don't wanna cut it too short at the beginning. So about a quarter of the way down, you are just going to cut that off. We can save that little piece that just popped off for, for something else after. Once you have your paper towel tube cut so that you have about three quarters of it here, you are going to take your finger and you're gonna kind of push this side in. Let's see that, so we're just pushing that side in right there. You see the other side's there the sides pushed in. We're going to turn it around and we are going to push the opposite side in. Okay, once you have both sides on opposite sides pushed in, you get what I am going to call those little owl ears. I don't think they're really ears. They might be. But that's what you get. Okay, now you have the shape for your owl. I'm gonna do a little drawing, put some designs on it with my black marker, and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Okay, so as promised, I have made an owl with these very basic supplies, and here he is. It's a very basic owl with a paper, paper towel tube. Say that three times fast. Paper, towel, tube, a black marker, and scissors. Boom. Done. All right. Wait till you see what's next. Okay. So for this paper, towel, tube tutorial, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna ratchet it up a little bit, okay? So this time, you need a little bit more supplies. Still, not a ton. We're still gonna make something happen. For this one, we're gonna make an octopus out of this little paper towel tube. Actually, this one's a, a toilet paper tube. We're gonna make an octopus. All you're gonna need is one toilet paper tube. If you don't have it, but you have a paper towel tube, just, you know, cut a chunk off some scissors, your marker. So while that's still the same, this time we're gonna add in some paint. So I've got some 
acrylic paint here, but you can use any kind. And I just so happen to have some folk art glitterific paint. And quite frankly, anything called glitterific, it, it should be in your art arsenal. That's all I'm saying. We've got a paintbrush and we've got some water. First thing you're going to do, you're going to paint your tube. Just give it color all over, one color. Go. All right, so you've got your um, little tube all painted. I'll show you mine. Look at that. Can you see the glitter from the glitterific paint? Did I lie? No, I didn't. That's beautiful. Okay, you're gonna take your tube and your scissors, and you are going to cut vertically lines about three quarters of the way up. We don't wanna go all the way because then it's, you know, it's gonna split in half. Then you're gonna maybe go over, see if you can see this right there, maybe another, another inch. And you're gonna cut up to the same point. And you're gonna do that all the way around. Okay. So what you're gonna get when you do this is his little his little legs. And you're gonna kinda just take those little strips that you just cut and you're gonna bend them up because that's a little octopus legs. Do they call them legs? Tentacles. Okay. Um, I'm going to grab my marker and I'll get back to you in a second with my octopus. So I used my marker and I added some little suction cups on his legs and gave a face and we've got an octopus. A very, very sparkly octopus. I kind of wish I had gone up higher with that, but anyways. That's octopus. All right, next thing we're gonna be doing is butterflies. So for the butterfly, you're going to need your tube. You can still use your marker and your scissors. But we're gonna add in a glue stick a stapler, some construction paper or regular paper, and a um, pipe cleaner. So I've gone ahead and um, just given my, my paper towel tube some polka dots. This is gonna be our butterfly's body. I just decided we're gonna be simple, put some, some polka dots there. Once you have that all set and you can do whatever you want with this, we're gonna make the um, butterfly wings. So I've taken my construction paper and I've just folded it in half. And I'm going to trace the outline of a wing on one side of this, starting on the folded edge. It just looks like that. I'm going to cut that out. And once I get it cut out and I open it up on the folded line, I've got a full set of wings, which we are then going to apply some glue just right down that folded line in the center. So I applied glue right here. I'm going to take my tube and I am going to stick that to the back of the butterfly's body. So now we have his wings. All right, so once we have his wings on there and I gave him a little, I'm gonna put some designs on the wings. We're going to take the um, pipe cleaner and you're going to grab your stapler and you can just fold the pipe cleaner in half and put that folded half let's see if I can show you down inside the front of the tube 
you can see that and I'm going to take my stapler and I'm gonna put that in there and staple that in so it stays I don't think I want my butterflies things to be this long so I'm gonna just trim a little bit off the top and then maybe give them a little it's gonna be a kooky butterfly give them a little okay and there you have a butterfly so now I've got my butterfly my owl and my octopus and let me move my camera because you can't really see it all together it's like a veritable zoo um, but I think there are probably so many more things you can do but I just want to show you that even with minimal supplies you can have fun you can create um, so try it out if you invent a new animal Send me a picture. I want to see it. I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.